MJT here. How are you all keeping? I hope you all keeping good. Um, I've decided to come out and do another video today uh, for the simple reason is um, I wanted to do the Spitfire on the night time because it's getting to the night now. But anyway, I'm going to give some information anyway. So there's some information here that I forgot to read last time to you. And there's like, well, I'm not going to read it. <laughs> it's like, you get what I mean? It's like, it tells you all about it here. So it's like 1939 and then 1945. And it's got a nice, lovely picture of the Hudson there. It's in the 608 Squadron in flight. And then they're the pilot in the flying gear, the pilots and the crew. And there's another lovely picture there. Again, Hudson in flight. Fonderby Station, 1941. Yep, so there was a lot of information and there's a lot of things about Fonderby. Um, that's when the runway was getting done. You can see the runway there, guys, just getting built. Unfortunately, it's all destroyed now and there's only one part left, which I'm gutted by. But anyway, we're going to go down to the Spitfire now, but if we can cross over to it, or I might take it to the other information board, yeah? I think I'll take them to the other information board, because uh, the, more, the more information, the better it will be. So, let's get this out of the road. And I've been told by my family members and some other people to keep my camera off the floor, so... I'm keeping it pointed up this time. So there's your Spitfire there. Viewed it in the daytime and it was amazing. So we'll see what it's like in the night time. Eh? And don't worry, Alan Cam 2 is going to be in it as well. So I'm going to combine both videos together. See how, it, see how it goes anyway. So, I want to be down here. And then we'll cross over to the next one. I hate walking down here. Bloody awful. <laughs> here we go. Here we are. It's a bit dirty this one line. I think what they need to do is unscrew it and put a new, uh, well. a new glass part in. And you've got a little ant on there, look. Yeah, get out of it. RAF Farnaby on tees. 1912, it's 1939. <laughs> so, yeah, we've it's got a, a lot of stuff here as well. A lot of information. Uh, so we have Squadron... Westland Warpits or Wapitis. I keep getting them mixed up, it's Wapitis. And they were very famous. It says something about Geoffrey Shaw. Don't know who that is. Uh, biplanes at Farnaby. That's what it would have been like years ago. Uh, there's something else in there about an Avro 621. Tutor. Ah, oh, so it was like a training plane that. And we've got the Gypsy Moth, that Jeffrey Shaw, in the rear cockpit. And unfortunately, the Westlands were PE crashed in 1930. Must have crashed on the field somewhere. Then we have a Vickers Virginia, which is this big one here. Then we have a Wapiti over Billingham. And that's that's very rare that. And then we have two Wapitis there. And then some other information there. So you do get the picture, guys. There's a lot of information about uh, RAF Farnaby. Um, maybe in the next couple of videos, we might take a trip down to another part, which is all the way down there, where there's the statue. And I should go all the way down to where I got my computer from. And there's a lot of RAF buildings that are still there. Um, I believe the para, the parachute, uh, where they used to do all the parachutes, 
that that place is still there and there's some other places that are still there as well so i don't know whether i can get in them but you know there's no harm in there taking the odd pictures i, I even think the headquarters is still there so that'll be good to see right so this is a bit of school now i'm going to stop here a minute al because uh, I don't know if you can just see it, the way that field goes down, it has like a line, and you see the lines, mm. right, and if you look on the board down there, it was saying that the runway went down yeah. to where Beta School was, yeah. and all the planes used to go here, yeah. and the runway was over this sort of way, yeah. so, uh, Let's let this car go past, so oh, it's gone the other way. <laughs> Need getting worried there. So there's Bay to School. Just over there. Just barely see them look. Over there look. Yeah. I barely see them over. Yeah. You know. It's underground. Yeah. The runway's definitely underground there, like. So But anyway. It'll give us some information down here, Alan. Yep. So... I've already been down here before, but on the purposes, I'm going to show you it again. As you can see, it's got the Spitfire sort of propeller job going on there. And this is what I love the most. Now, as you can see, it had the A-type um, runway. So... This is where it ran through, so it goes all the way through Farnaby Town Centre and Trenchard Avenue and it goes all the way down to Farnaby Road and then cuts off where the houses are just near Howard Wilson and then the other one went from Bader School as I just said and it went along all the way down to where Western School is, that's the runway I'm trying to get to and then it had another runway as well going all the way down Tedder Avenue way. And I don't believe any of these runways exist now. There's only oh. that little tiny bit there. Oh, from one way so, but anyway, um, let's go and uh, view the uh, Spitfire, shall we? I always have to walk up this bloody hill. <coughs> I have to help my uncle up. Over there, the Spitfire pub is over there. Oh yeah. This yeah. bit Spitfire pub, but yeah. not now, it's shops. Yeah, I know, I know. Right. What's, your, what's this car? I was never going to go for that. <laughs> that wouldn't have been too good, clever, Mike. Go. So now we're going over to the Spitfire. We're going over the Spitfire and we're going to view this as it looks now. Look at that guys, how fantastic is that? It's got all the blue underneath it. It looks really, really nice on the night time. Because I did the view on the daytime, so... Busy traffic around here. This is where all the airfield was. All down there. So... And there we go again. This is a Spitfire at the night time now. <clears throat> what a gorgeous sight. I know it's only a replica guys, but to see it in its glory, it's just wonderful. Now look at that. Let's see if the camera focuses in. Focus, focus. That's amazing. And there's the blue lights. So, these are what the kids were smashing ages ago. And this is what my Uncle Alan was going on about. They've got no respect for the war. And these kids need to be taught a lesson in my eyes. That is fantastic. What a marvel. Even though it's a Spitfire replica, it's still gorgeous. Come on, focus in, will ya? 
<laughs> I'm using my phone camera because uh, sadly the other camera that I was using wasn't good enough and it had to be sold unfortunately but I am getting a new camera soon I'm getting a Canon Ixus camera and I've heard they're really good so here we go there you go. Can you get it in? Yep. There you go. And there you go. There's the back tail. Cockpit. There's the cockpit there, guys. And now for a replica, that is absolutely amazing. Just look at that. <laughs> and I mean, I'm going to get right under the tail here as well. There we go. Look at that. Wow. You know something? I wish I could unscrew this plane and put it on top of my ceiling where I live. I'm not just saying that, guys, because I've got loads of models in my flat, you see, so everybody will know where I live. <laughs> there was one day. What? There was a couple of lads, a pair of ladders. And they put, they put a cup there and they, yeah, got, and they, I got, know. they got into the cockpit and they got stuck. <laughs> Idiots. Yeah. They, I mean, what do, what were they thinking? I mean, it's not going to fly. No. It hasn't got the engine in, so, you know. <laughs> see, they thought they were clever, you see, so. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. People these days. They've been arrested. Good. They want to be for disrespecting things like that that got put up to memorise the war and stuff. That's terrible. Wow. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing, guys. There's a cockpit area up there. Wow. So that's it at night, guys. If, if, if anybody gets gets this, there's a better bird's eye view of the Spitfire pub. Yeah. It used to be the pub, but it's not now. Yeah, no, no it got knocked down ages ago. No, it's not knocked down. Well, it's been changed yeah, into shops. Yeah, it's been shops. changed. That's what I meant. It's been changed. Yeah. But anyway, there's your Spitfire there, guys. So, I'd like You've to. Still got one more to do. Got another. Oh. <laughs> he reminded me. I forgot all about that. Sorry, guys. There's one more bit of information to go, guys. And then that'll do it. Uh. Good, thanks Alan no. and thanks for joining me yeah, it's all right. uh, I was going to let you say something if you want to say anything uh, uh, I'll you know. do it all cause uh, I've, had a, I've had a hell of a day today uh, well there you go then I think I'll just leave him have a rest <laughs> but anyway thanks for coming though oh, I'll tell you, I'll so, and anyway let's go and uh, get this last bit of information and then go and get it sorted out what? Take me, please. <laughs> okay, so, last bit of information coming up now. There's some more stuff there. So, here's the last part of the information, guys. So, here we go. RAF Hornaby. 1946 to 1958. And here you are the years, as you can see, all the years are ran down. So about all the scratch forks, but yeah, I'm sorry too, but for you. they just don't care around here. You see, they don't have no respect. It just pisses me off, to be honest. It's got all the planes that were featured. So there's all your planes, Hawker Demon, and then you've got the Hudson. You've even got the Fairy Battle there. And the list just goes on and on and on. Um, go to the bottom. We'll go to the bottom. As you can see, it had meteors. It had vampires. The last plane to take off from here was in 1957, I believe that's when the closure. In 92 Squadron, October 1958, Hawker Hunter MK6 flew. And there's the monument we're going to. Yep. So. Uh, I'll show you all that, it's just down the road. Um, Spitfire members. 
and she's spit fire that used to be featured. That's that's down there and who was on that? There's the uh, vampires in the background. And then you've got the war graves. That's on down Acklin Road Cemetery. Acklin Road, yep. The vampire jet, John Pollock and squadron members. And then this one I really do like. This one's featured back in Farnaby. And you can see the vampires there. So that's it guys, so I hope you all like this little uh, video that I'm putting on now. The reason I've done it is because I respect all the war veterans and all the war heroes out there that give up their lives so we could have ours. And uh, well, we're going to cross it now for these runways. We're going to cross uh, where the runways used to be now. So they, they all used to be down here you see. But anyway guys, what I'm going to say right now is Thank you very much for all your kindness and all your support. Um, please you know, subscribe to our channel. Yeah, please subscribe to our channel. You don't have to remind me on that. I was going to say that anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Alan always has a thing where he forgets sometimes. Don't know why, don't ask me why. But, but anyway, guys, thank you all again. Um, there's more content coming out soon. We are going to be going to those pillboxes in Seat and Crew and... Uh, Greetham, um, but I'm waiting to get my money to get all that sorted first. Um, but in a couple of days, I'll show you the uh, statue monument down the road with Alan Camto, and we'll both we'll both be doing a joint video on that. So this is MJT signing off, guys. Please do sub, sub please do subscribe because it really does mean a lot to me, and. And please subscribe to our channel or my channel. Yep, Alan Cam too. Because we both have separate channels. So, But anyway, thanks again guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye now.